Okay, well, Michael, do you know what the leading cause of death for pregnant people is? Pregnant people? Mm -hmm. Mothers? Women? If you'd like to call them mothers, not all of them are mothers, but if you'd like to call them that. What are they if they're not mothers? They're pregnant people. What, what people other than mothers are pregnant? Does it bother you to use inclusive language? It only takes a couple extra syllables to use inclusive language. To include and who? It seems to include people who don't you know, identify as women but can become pregnant. So, like a person who's born a woman and then identifies as a man mm -hmm. and is pregnant. Yeah. So you're telling me that in order to be a moral person, I need to accept the idea that a man, someone who is born a man and looks like a man, can really become a woman. That's, that's a, a prerequisite of my being a moral person. I mean, yes. To, to me, it is, because if you are trying to deny someone of their identity and deny what their life experience is, then that doesn't seem like a moral stance to me. I want to be accepting, and I want to respect people's life experiences and respect the way that they want to identify and respect the way that they want to present themselves to the world. Bronte, I would yes. like to identify, I do identify, actually, mm -hmm. as the correct person on this issue of abortion. Okay. I identify as being correct and more correct than you on this issue. And I would just ask that you accept and affirm my uh, identity. Do you? Well, you are not a medical professional, and abortion and pregnancy no, is a medical concern.